All right, guys, eggs with a little bit of hamburger chopped up in there. Uh, Greek yogurt with chocolate chips in it. If you have a little hamburger left over from day before or something like that, chop it up, put in your eggs, giving you even a little more extra protein, and it works really good. Alright guys, it doesn't look like it, but the weeds are grown up, you know, some. And actually the grass is actually growing a little bit too. It's hard to tell on videos, it's always hard to tell. Oop, Tony, you better turn that blade speed down a little bit, buddy. You blowing that pine straw on that bed. I did end up fixing that later with my foot when I come around to blow everything off. And I uh, pre-edge all this because it's early in the morning, so I went ahead and edged the sidewalks. You know with the string trimmer and did all the weed eating stuff first as you can see the edges are looking all nice i did that before i started mowing um because it's early in the morning right here and uh, i do three houses in a row right here i do this one over here with the pool and a customer decided to put a bunch of soil in a bunch of spots where the dogs tear up in the grass so i don't know whatever so you'll notice a bunch of black soil over in there. You'll see it over in their yard next door. Um, you can't really see it right here, but they did a bunch inside that fence. Um, but anyway, we're down by the lake, mowing it up. And, uh, you know, doing what we do. Wednesday route. My Snapper Pro S50 here. It's a 48 inch. It's a great mower. I paid for forty six hundred fifty dollars for it plus tax and uh that was years ago a couple two three years ago but man it's a great mower um i really really like it um it's really good for what it is it's commercial it's small it's pretty lightweight um pre-edged all this stuff too uh, as you can see just checking to make sure i got everything on the other side see right here you can see a lot of that soil see the customer put in a bunch of places right there so I end up just hand trimming a bunch of that we eat it you know spots that needed it because you know I don't want to fling all that soil around right now although next week I probably will have to you see those azaleas a couple times in this video the azaleas are looking really good just as far as they have flowers on them and stuff like that so Man, today, it's warming up. It's been warming up for the last few weeks, but today in Georgia, it was like 86 or something like that. So, you know, it's really, <laughs> it's getting really, really warm. And uh, as you can see, this property is looking nice. Shrubs are looking nice. You see, I got it pre-edged up, just like we do. And uh, now we're mowing the front a little bit. As you can see, I pre-edged it. Um, it's a little tricky when they got the brand new pine straw, you know, you're trying not to fling it out on the grass and stuff. Um, I'm trying to speed this up a little bit. Again, it's hard to tell on this camera, but it, this yard actually has grown the most of any of the ones that I have, you know, showed up to this point. I mean, it's grown pretty good. And, uh, so, you know, we're doing what we do. Mowing it up, um... There you go, you can see a little more azalea flowers. Looking good. Some of them are not quite topped out yet, but they will. Um, you see it's got like a weird hump right there on the in between the neighbor's property. It's like a for drainage thing, so I got a weedy all the way up that. Because, you know, I do all those properties. There's a hole over there on to the left. 
they're doing an inspection for the uh, septic or something so it's kind of dug up at the moment but um I've done this, done this yard for uh, since 2013 but uh they actually are selling it so and someone already bought it like houses around here sell in like 30 minutes or whatever so they already someone bought it so like end of april might be my last month unless i get the new owner you see a couple stripes right there as i'm going away so we'll have to see if i keep that yard or if i get a different yard or whatever um either way is fine but loading this back up i gotta get 14 inch rims and tires for this trailer because it's too high up and i knew that when i bought it the tires are too big and so like the mower wants to scrub even though i have a ball where it's like the ball is like up like there's no drop on the ball i got it so it's like up but some situations it still wants to scrub on it a little bit so see some blowing footage didn't need to mow it um but there's leaves and stuff on it um didn't need to mow it because we just had a freeze um so i still just had to edge it up and everything and then blow it off and um this is like up in the front part of the middle house pick up some pine cones over in the those trees up there to make it look nice and fresh and so yeah i mean that's what we up to what's up guys how you doing oh man springtime it's busy it's super busy super super busy um because april 1st uh some of my yards that are there's i don't know maybe 10 20 percent that are bi-weekly and they want to go to every you know they go to every week on the first of april and i'm still trying to finish doing my pond straw drops pond straw has been a little hard to get this year so it's kind of hit or miss if i can get it hang on there's this big truck in the road and i need to get around them all right so because he's waiting on me um anyway Pine trail's been hit or miss, getting so it's been hard. You have to go over there early in the morning and wait, see if they got any, and you know, it's been a pain. So it's hard right now. Just like you guys, I'm right there with you in the whole spring rush deal because my, uh, you know, I work year round, but my route is just, you know, it's bumped up another 20% because people, some people go to every week. And I'm still trying to, you know, I still got like another four or 500 bales of pine straw to do still. And uh, it's crazy. It's crazy. If I can make it past the next month or so and get these pine straw jobs done, I'd be all right. But man, it's absolutely nuts. I'm turning down yards every day. Um, I still call the people back and, and let them know. Um, you know, there's a little business tip there. Guys, don't be rude to people. If someone calls you, call them back the same business day on your way home if possible. A little pro tip there. Because in the future, you, you've already you've made friends with the people even if they don't hire you. And in the future, you never know i've had plenty of times like that and you end up working for people again later down the road or whatever you know so anyway so i'm right there with you guys things are nuts things are crazy um i got my ac fixed on my truck if y'all see my video if y'all look back a few videos like back in the winter i don't know i think it was january sometime i did the uh i pulled the dashboard and did the ac evaporative core install on my truck and so I did that and installed all that went great but you know i don't i don't have a machine to vacuum the system down to get the air out of the system and then charge up the ac again so i brung to shop finally you know i haven't worried about it since you know it's been cold so but i guess maybe one or two weeks ago i went to my favorite shop and they uh you know drove there 20 30 minutes it's you know it's not super close but they you know go and charge the system and you know and do all that and they put a little oil in the system as well which I didn't even know about that, but apparently you need to have a little oil in the system, so they did that too. Um, so that's great. So now I feel spoiled, because now I'm riding around, I'm super busy, but I have AC in my truck now, which I haven't had the last year or two, so it is amazing, it is amazing so far. So spring rush. Um, another thing, Anytime I, every time I do a vlog video, um, I'm gonna try to put those in a separate playlist so like all my videos that are not vlogs like you know reviews or whatever talking video or something those will not go in that playlist but i want to have a playlist per year of the long care vlog videos and organize it per year and then start a new playlist you know maybe next year or something that's what i want to do um 
if for some reason it doesn't work out, if I can't get it in the playlist easily or something, you know, I may not can do it every episode, but I plan to. And I've put every one that I've done so far this year in that playlist. And I'll have the link to that playlist right in the top of the description um, of this video. So y'all be sure to click that and then you can go straight down the actual vlogs, action vlogs that I've done for this year. So something to think about there. Um, so I wanna do that and then every time I do a vlog, I'll just automatically stick it in that playlist, you know what I mean? And so they can uh, see it and all that. And it'll be in that playlist, so it'll be a new one in there. So y'all are awesome. Thanks for watching my videos, man. We gotta we gotta keep mowing it up. I gotta try to eat a little snack. Uh, I think I got an apple or something. Yeah, I do. Small apple kind of, but it's a good one. Um, so anyway, we gotta keep we gotta keep hustling. I'm right there with y'all in spring rush. Um, you know, I really appreciate you guys that watch my channel, and uh, you know, I'm doing it right there with you, solo out here doing what we do. Um, a little tired, but man, we're getting it getting in i appreciate you guys so we got to keep mowing this video ain't over i got another uh clips here so all right boys i don't know if you can see it but that pine straw is really orange and uh what they do is they paint it after they put the straw down here in this neighborhood they paint it so it's really really orange you can see overspray on this power pole over there it's crazy it looks good though makes it look real bold but anyway wanted to show you guys that let's get over here and cut this yard